Meghan Markle glows as besotted Prince Harry gazes at her blooming baby bump. Prince Harry gazed at Meghan Markle's blossoming baby bump as the couple attended a royal engagement in Bristol today. Besotted Harry, 34, looked lovingly at his wife's growing bump during a visit to the Bristol Old Vic Theatre. Pregnant Meghan and Harry travelled to the city for a day of royal engagements. Wintry conditions meant the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's arrival was delayed by 20 minutes and they had to travel by train rather than fly. But royal fans braved the snow outside the theatre to catch a glimpse of the couple, including a group of adorable youngsters from Abbey Woodtot's nursery. Meghan showed she is very British now as she chatted to royal well-wishers, commenting on the weather and adding, I hope everyone gets a nice cup of tea after this. And the 37-year-old thanked royal fans for waiting to greet them, saying, Thank you for waiting so long to say hi. Our train was a little bit delayed but we tried our best to get here fast. The Duchess, who is six months pregnant, stunned in a printed Oscar de Laurenti dress which she teamed with a William vintage coat and green suede Sophie Flint boots. The 37-year-old wore her hair down and she carried a pair of long beige gloves and a small clutch bag. Once inside the theater, the royal couple practiced their parenting skills as they met three-year-old Ocean John, whose mother, Sally Cordwell, is the theater's executive director. Ms. Cordwell had brought the youngster to work after the bad weather forced her nursery to shut. The Duchess said to Ocean, who was wearing a name tag reading Ballerina Ocean. Hello Miss Ocean, is that your full name? After shaking Megan's hand, Ocean told her, Your hand is cold. Megan replied, My hands are cold. Thank you for warming them sweetie. Ballerina Ocean, I think you are going to be everyone's favorite person of the day. The royal couple toured the historic venue which was built in 1766 and is the oldest working theatre in the English-speaking world. And they unveiled a plaque marking their visit and the official opening of the theatre's £2 million redevelopment. They also stood in the theatre's dress circle to watch young performers during a workshop. This afternoon, Meghan and Harry visited Empire Fighting Chance, a charity using boxing to support children failing at school and in danger of drifting into a life of unemployment or crime. The couple were given their own personalized boxing gloves during the engagement. Meghan and Harry also paid an unannounced visit to the charity One Two, which helps street sex workers break free from a life of violence, poverty and addiction. The Duke and Duchess heard how the organization's drop-in center and night outreach van act as a lifeline for the city's 150 vulnerable sex workers and Meghan suggested writing messages of support to the women on bananas as she helped prepare food parcels for the van. The Duchess wrote on a number of the fruit, in capital letters and often followed by a heart, You are strong, you are special, you are brave and you are loved. Meghan said, I saw this program this woman had started in the States on a school lunch program when on each of the bananas she wrote an affirmation or something to make the kids feel really empowered. I thought it was the most incredible idea. This small gesture. Anna Smith, 125's chief executive, said Harry and Meghan were very moved to hear of the women's stories. She said, they seemed very moved by the testimonies of women who spoke about their experiences. The volunteers and staff described how the van is a beacon of light, and I think they were probably most touched by that. It has been a busy week for Meghan, who is due to give birth at the end of April or early May. The former actress attended City. University of London, on Thursday to meet students and academics from the Association of Commonwealth Universities, one of her four royal patronages. And on Wednesday, Meghan stepped out to visit the National Theatre, as she made her first official visit to the institution since becoming its patron. Meghan visited her other royal patronages, animal charity Mayhew and women's charity Smart Works, earlier in January.